first of all, land is a very, you know, is, is a very important uh, asset uh, to anyone, uh, especially here on an island where land is a very uh, limited commodity. And down in Jonia, at least one piece of property has been the focus of attention for the past year. Most recently, former Senator Robert Klitschke raised issue over a bogus certificate of title for the mega million dollar former Action Hotel property, now known as a Redemptorist Modern Seminary. Committee on Land Oversight Chairperson Senator Tom Addis says he is aware of the concern. First of all, on the particular issue about the seminary, uh, I have not uh, intervened in the matter because I, I believe that Senator Klitschke uh, has done an excellent job in doing his research and he has brought it to the attention of the appropriate parties, the Director of Land Management and to the Attorney General's office. And I think that from those meetings, uh, it has been acknowledged as to what actions are needed to be taken to rectify the concerns that have been raised by Senator Klitschke. Department of Land Management Director Michael Borja has acknowledged an error in the title has been corrected. However, Klitschke believes it was not done properly. I do have my concerns in view of the fact that at the beginning of this whole thing, it was acknowledged that when an error like this occurs, it has to be rectified, it has to be formally rectified in the court uh, system. Um, and, and that has not taken place. In fact, it was basically a, a you know, uh, an in-office sort of correction. And that does cause me some concern because if the law, as Senator Klitschke uh, uh, states, uh, requires that you take this to the court system to make the corrections, then that's probably where we should have done the corrections. And while he hasn't intervened, Senator Addis says he instead will be conducting an oversight hearing not just to address this particular issue, but all land titles within DLM. Because if this has occurred, uh, what assurance do we have that it won't occur again? Um, and, and to get a better understanding uh, for the committee as to, you know, how do we rectify uh, when situations like this come up and what is the process? Director Borja says a draft petition was prepared but was never submitted, executed or filed in court because both DLM and the Archbishop of Agania Corporation Seoul were able to meet and correct the error together. The AG's office had no comment on the matter. As for the oversight, no date has been set at this time. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Cantoniza.